Hi there. One of the concepts mentioned on the Edexcel AS macro syllabus, and one that's certainly relevant to every single board, is the idea of animal spirits, in particular animal spirits and business investment. Let's spend a moment or two thinking about that. This chart shows total business investment in the UK economy. It's measured in millions of pounds, and it's measured also at constant 2012 prices. In other words, it shows us the real level of investment. And you can see that investment follows a cyclical pattern. It's quite strong from 2005 and 2007 and 2008, but then it fell sharply in 2009. It took a little bit while to recover. In fact, in 2012, business investment was still a little bit low, below the level in 2008. So investment tends to be quite highly cyclical. Why is this? Well, many, many factors de determine business investment. And one of the key factors is expectations. Expectations play a key role for businesses, particularly when they're thinking of making major, bulky, expensive investment projects in new capital goods, new factories and new technology. Many factors determine investment, actual demand and expected demand, expected profitability, the actual level of interest rates and the expected level of interest rates in the future, and crucially, the state of business confidence or Keynesian animal spirits. Keynes coined the notion of animal spirits. And basically this was about the psychology of business decisions. The driving force, animal spirits are the driving force that gets people and businesses going in the economy. So what are animal spirits? Animal spirits is a mix of different emotions, confidence, trust, mood, expectations. And crucially, animal, animal spirits can fluctuate quite quickly and quite rapidly. So in a situation where confidence is low, where animal spirits are sagging, people save more, businesses save more too, and because there's less demand and lower profits, businesses tend to scale back their production, perhaps postpone some major planned investment projects. So it's a deterioration in animal spirits will lead to a fall in planned investment. Indeed, when people save more and when there's, a, and when there's reduced investment, both of those cause a contraction in aggregate demand and can cause the level of real national income to go down. This was what Keynes called the paradox of thrift. Saving in principle is good, but if we all save a little bit more and spend a, bit, a little bit less, and all of us, including businesses and households, we can end up poorer as a result. But the key thing is that business investment is largely driven by expectations, and the Keynesian concept of animal spirits is tremendously important in understanding that.